Well, let me tell you that today was just such an experience to drive a vehicle that I've never, ever driven before. And I invite you to come with me and check out my experience. Don't go anywhere. What is going on social media family? My name is Jorge Lopez and I am your sales consultant here in Tomball Ford in Tomball, Texas by Houston. Welcome. If you are a brand new person checking out my content, my videos, this channel is dedicated to showcase Ford vehicles to uh, share with you some tips and tricks on how to operate your Ford vehicles and in this case, sharing with you information on the upcoming new vehicle. So make sure that if you're interested in the Ford lineup and vehicles in general, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so that you don't miss a single video that I, that I bring to my channel. Like it, share it if you find this video informative. And I am a sales consultant here, so if you are interested in a Ford vehicle, do not hesitate, let me know, and I would be more than happy to assist you. Well, let me tell you, today was just a phenomenal day. Today was um, a lot of heart pounding, emotions, um, a lot of adrenaline rush going through my body. Today, I got the chance to test drive a Ford Tesla Model X. And um, let me tell you that that car is scary fast. And uh, the reason why I drove a Tesla vehicle is because I wanted to understand firsthand what makes an electrical or an electric car important and why that's gonna be the future of car manufacturers and why I should start learning about electric cars as you probably already know the mach e is coming our way this is ford's version their first attempt real attempt on an electric car as you can see it right there on the picture it is a gorgeous beautiful vehicle um, yesterday sunday the 17th of november 2019 was the unveiling of the mach e so the whole social media youtube facebook and many others were in tune to discover and look firsthand what that car is gonna bring to the table. Let me tell you that it is a phenomenal car and I'm so excited, I'm so pumped that Ford is bringing that vehicle here. I also wanted to drive this Tesla because I just wanted to see the features, learn about that car in general because that is gonna be a direct competitor to the Ford Mach-E. So Ford Mach-E is gonna be trying to capture that market of people that um, Tesla has owned basically for, heck, the past, um, I don't know, 10 years or whatever the case may be. But I really wanted to take that experience to heart and I appreciate you, Jason, if you're tuning into this channel, to this video. Thank you so much for allowing me to be in your car and just drive it around and let me tell you guys that car is just absolutely scary fast the words that i would have to say on this test drive that i did at this uh, with this model x heart pounding adrenaline rush exhilarating feelings all over but uh if you have not driven an electric car it, it is it is a completely different world on its own it, it, it is just a surreal experience um, but hey take a look at these clips of me driving the vehicle and then obviously i was also on the passenger seat uh, jason was taking me for a spin and telling me a little bit about the car so take a look at this and uh, all i can say was so much fun
so we have a lot of we have a lot of interest in our family in that arena so from that perspective it doesn't make sense for me to really even have an electric car yes sir <laughs> but but i was intrigued when it came out so i actually went and test drove one and after one test drive i was like this is not, there's close. nothing like it because there's nothing there was nothing even close to it and no no experience in any other vehicle that i've been in um right. that offered the same kind of convenience features uh functionality and everything okay. and so that's that's why i ended up doing it um well my experience has been and i don't know if it's been for a tesla owner but i mean think about it you know this is the second Tesla I owned. Previous one I had for three, for about three and a half years, the Model S. Oh. This is so, not, I had this Model X now for a year and a half. But the thing about it is, I don't even, so there's no, all I have to do is refill the windshield wiper fluid. There's no oil change. No, of course not. No. There's no, I mean, change tires. You see, in, they offer a whole a whole slew of options. I can change, I can change the steering to sport, where it's real tight, standard, or comfort, where it's very loose, like a, kind of like a luxury sedan. Yeah. I can change the regenerative braking to low or standard. I can change the acceleration to chill, sport, ludicrous, or ludicrous plus. Ludicrous plus. <laughs> right? <laughs> Which is pretty funny to do that. So what I'll do is, we're just gonna stop right here. Okay. okay. Are you we're ready? Completely stopped. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> no way! <laughs> How'd you like that? <laughs> <laughs> and then there's something that's called launch mode. Wow, hard speed went way up, Jason. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, oh no, I didn't do launch mode because it didn't, didn't give it to me. But that was just, that's just regular. But <laughs> <laughs> the good thing is, if you ever have a, if you ever have kind of a bad day, just just punch it and you'll immediately start feeling. Low this low. is crazy, Jason. Yeah, I mean, and, and the then, cornering and. The handle is great. Oh yeah, he's <laughs> What in the world, Jason? You're just going. So with your permission, can yeah, I punch you? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's why you gotta that's why you gotta do it. Okay. Alright. What in the world? <laughs> So as you can see on that video, that uh, that car was just stupid fast. Oh man, it was, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about it now and I am so much dying to get into a Mach-E. It's just gonna be so much fun to, uh, to, uh, to own one of those cars. And you know what guys, I'm really tempted to reserve a Mach-E for me. It is, um, Man, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm torn. I, I really am because I'm ready for a change. I've had um, F-150s now for many, many years. And if you follow my channel, you know that I like to lease vehicles. There's going to be a lease program on the, the Ford Mach-E. And my lease expires um, this December, a year from this December. So in about um, 13 more months. And... Um, you know, that's kind of around the time frame where the Mach-E is arriving. So what do you guys think? Should, uh, should I order one for the channel and I can do some really cool videos about it and just showcase the vehicle for you guys? Let me know in the comments below if, uh, if you think I should get a, uh, a Mach-E just to see what that uh, feel li feels like. Um, also, I want you guys to tell me, what do you guys think about Ford using the Mustang brand 
for this Mach E. I know there's a lot of people that you know, say, yeah, this is not a Mustang. And, and, and of course, it's not meant to replace the Mustang. By all means, Mustang is an iconic car. Um, but I think Ford is just using the brand to um, tell you that this car has performance. This car is exhilarating. This car is fun. This car is fast. This car is sleek. All of these things that a Mustang has this Mach E is going to be bringing to the table. But what do you guys think? Should Ford have called that a different name? Write in the comments below and let me know. I'm so curious to see and to know what do you guys think about that. So what do I think the outcome is gonna be for the Mach E? I mean, obviously time will tell, right? But I feel very confident that Ford did a lot of research development and they have had experience in the hybrid battery uh, car lineup uh, since 2004-ish, I believe. So they've got a lot of cars out on the roads that are battery operated, hybrid operated. So they've got some experience um, with that. And I feel like, you know, I think Ford is definitely going to give Tesla a run for their money. Now, the really cool thing about ordering a Mach-E is that you have up to $7,500 of tax credit. So that is another reason why I think Ford is coming ahead. They've got that tax credit that Tesla is not going to have. So I feel like uh, when you compare a similar Tesla uh, equipped to a Mach-E, I think the Mach-E with the performance that it's going to bring to the table, the range that the, uh, the, uh, the car is going to bring to the table, and the price point, I think we're gonna convert a lot of Tesla owners into the Ford lineup. What do you guys think? Do you think that's uh, that would be a fair assessment that we're gonna be bringing in some Tesla owners that are ready for a change, ready for some good quality, ready for some range, not sacrifice performance at a better price point? Comment below, let me know. So guys, if you are interested in ordering a Ford Mach-E, I am your guy. Here at Tomball Ford in Tomball, Texas, we are EV certified. Now, not all dealerships will have that certification. And if these dealerships didn't accept to be certified now, it's gonna take them a whole year, I believe, for them to have the opportunity to uh, be certified again. So if you guys are looking for a good, reputable dealership, if you're looking for a guy that's knowledgeable, somebody that has been at the dealership for a long, long time, 20 years for me with excellent reviews online, great customer service. Um, let me know and I will be more than happy to help you navigate through all of these options to get your Mach-E ordered. It would be an awesome experience. Right now to this day, we've got a few already on the list and it would be awesome if we can add you to the Mach-E list. So contact me today for your Mach-E. And also Tesla owners, what has been your experience with uh, electric car? Do you recommend it? Is it, um, is it easy for you to you know, make a long trip, uh, plan the thing, uh, the trip around? So let me know Tesla owners, uh, what your experience has been um, with your car. I'd love to know. And if you are considering switching over, man, I think you know, that guy should solve that problem right there. So, hey, my name is Jorge Lopez over at Tomball Ford. Thank you so much for, you know, watching this short video of me having some fun in a Tesla car. And if you guys are, you know, in the market for a Mach-E or any other vehicle, don't, uh, don't hesitate, let me know. Uh, contact me today on the screen right there. You will have my website. Go to it, hit the contact button, let me know, and it would be my pleasure to help you out. Subscribe, hit the like button, all that stuff. So, all right, until the next video, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.